Are you a veteran or an active duty service member dreaming of owning a home, but worried about the down payment and mortgage insurance? Well, have you heard about VA loans? In today's video, we'll show you why VA loans might be the best option for you and how they can help you achieve the dream of home ownership. Stay tuned to learn all about the incredible benefits of VA loans. My name is David Matney with Nebraska Realty. I'm a local realtor here in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the home buying process, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Now let's jump into today's topic. What is a VA loan? A VA loan is a mortgage loan backed by the Department of Veteran Affairs. It is available to veterans, active duty service members, and some surviving spouses. The VA loan was created to help service members achieve home ownership. The VA loan is a guaranteed loan. Now, what does that exactly mean? It means the VA is going to protect the lender in case of a default. The VA loan is not a loan from the VA. You obtain financing through a VA approved lender. Now, if you're a veteran and you need help finding a great lender, or if you're relocating to the Omaha area and you need assistance, my contact information is in the description below. What are the benefits of a VA loan? The benefits of a VA loan are numerous. First, there's no down payment required. This is a huge benefit, especially for those who don't have a lot of money saved up. Second, there is no private mortgage insurance required. This can save a borrower hundreds of dollars every month. Third, the interest rates on VA loans are typically lower than conventional loans. Fourth, there is no prepayment penalty. This means you're able to pay off your loan early and you won't be penalized. Who is eligible for a VA loan? To be eligible for a VA loan, you must have served 90 consecutive days of active duty during wartime or 181 days of active duty during peacetime. If you are a surviving spouse, you may be eligible if your spouse died while in service or as a result of a service-connected disability. What are the drawbacks of a VA loan? VA loans have a one-time funding fee, and this is a one-time fee paid up front. Now, the amount of this fee is dependent on whether this is your first time using the VA benefit and how much down payment you're using. For example, if you look at this chart, if this is your first time using the VA benefit and you're coming in with less than 5% down, your VA funding fee would be 2.3%. Now, if it's your second use, and you're coming in less than 5% down, then your VA funding fee would be 3.6%. What does this look like? If you're buying a $300,000 home with VA financing with no down payment, you would actually be financing an additional $6,900. Another option is to pay the entire funding fee up front at closing. Most buyers typically finance the funding fee into their loan. The VA funding fee can be waived if you have been awarded the Purple Heart or if you are a surviving spouse or if you have a 100% service-connected disability. In order to obtain VA financing, it must be an owner-occupied property. Now, you can purchase up to a fourplex with VA financing, but you must live in one unit as your primary residence. Now, if you want to speak with your loan professional, if you're going to purchase a multifamily home because the VA does have additional rules in effect. Another drawback with the VA loan in the current market is the VA appraisal process. Now, the VA has a requirement called the VA escape clause. This is a requirement that says the property must appraise for at least the purchase price. If it does not appraise for purchase price, then the buyer can cancel the contract at no penalty and get their earnest money back. This means that in a competitive market like we're currently in, some sellers may be hesitant to accept your VA offer in fear of the home not appraising for the purchase price, especially when prices are getting bid up. The VA appraisal is also looking at the home in terms of safety. The home must be safe and secure. For example, the roof must be in satisfactory condition, the stairwells must have handrails, and there can be no tripping hazards. Now, these repairs would have to be completed in order for the buyer to obtain their financing. Now, let's talk about the appraisal gap, because what if the buyer can bring additional funds to cover the appraisal gap? The VA, even though the buyer may be willing to do that, 
because they're doing VA financing, they can still back out if the home does not appraise. With VA financing also has a requirement that the seller has to pay for the cost of a termite inspection. And if the buyer is using VA financing, the buyer's broker cannot charge the buyer a broker flat fee. What about closing costs? Now, another benefit of VA loans is the seller can pay a reasonable amount of the buyer's closing costs. Typically, what you'll see is between 4 and 5%. Now, in the current market, especially below that $300,000 price point, asking for closing costs is like running east looking for a sunset. How to apply for a VA loan? To apply for a VA loan, you'll need to obtain a certificate of eligibility. You can do this online. Once you have your certificate of eligibility, you can apply for a VA loan with a VA approved lender. Now, one resource you can explore to learn more about VA loans is va.gov slash housing assistance slash home loans. And I'll leave a link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about the process of buying a home, be sure to check out this next video and you make it a great day.